from him. Uh, Peter, what can you see right now there? Well, right now I'm here on Maidan Square. We um, we heard earlier on from my colleague Alexei Adashevsky, who was uh, over near to the Dynamo Stadium, whereby uh, where police and uh, rioters have, have clashed viciously all throughout Wednesday, with police trying to clear them off from the barricades. What we're now seeing here is some of those people who were involved in that riot coming this way towards Maidan. Now, just behind me, you can see there's a, a, a large crowd growing of people listening to speeches from the stage, but actually just over to my right, we're seeing um, people building and reinforcing barricades um, that are being put up. We've also seen many people coming uh, from uh, near the Dynamo Stadium, decked out in, in helmets, masks, carrying rudimentary weapons and shields, some of them, um, as they get away from the, the where the police have cleared them out from those those barricades they have there. A lot of those have arrived here now, um, and we're seeing a, a, a large number of people gradually coming here to Maidan Square. Maidan Square. It's, a, it's a holiday here in Ukraine, it's a public holiday, so nobody's at work, people are free to come here, and the uh, the organisers of these these demonstrations were calling on people from all over Ukraine to come here to, to Kiev. It, it certainly seems that they, they have done that in their, in their thousands. Um, now, in terms of those clashes with the uh, the police that we witnessed earlier on, there was truly some of the uh, well, I, I've, I've, the worst scenes I've, I've seen anywhere around the world, really ugly scenes um, as, as demonstrators, rioters threw Molotov cocktails, bits of stones, bits of, um, of, of pavement slabs at the police, and the police tried to move them away from those barricades. Now, after uh, one of those uh, melees, we did see, and the, as they separated, we... Uh, there was some protesters that were lying prone, some that had been taken away uh, by the police, and also some police that were uh, that had been injured in those uh, those clashes with rioters. Now it was a very in, very intense uh, moment as they went in the first time to move them off, off those barricades. There was a few um, loud explosions, and then a huge sea of people started running away. And I we captured that moment when this was happening. Uh, we can have a listen to to what I saw at the time right now. What we've seen is a series of explosions go off. I believe police are trying to clear out the square. As you can see, a lot of people. We're going to be moving this way. Uh, Sanya, if the camera I can move over to the left here. Um, yes, huge crowds of people as everybody tries to get away from those barricades that were, were up there. Um, you can, I, 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 oh, and police moving in with... Actually, police are moving in. They're very, very... Uh, they're, they're pushing back very forcefully here. Um, hopefully, we're going to be... Going to be fine where we are. Police have moved everybody off those barricades, moved everybody away from where they were on those barricades. Yeah, we're going to have to get inside now. We're going to. We have to. We're having to get inside here now to, to get out of the way of what's going on. This is there. Uh, the police have decided that they are. They're getting rid of and they're clearing out everything that was uh, those barricades that had been the the position of such a a standoff uh, between rioters and the police. Um, Obviously, the police deciding there that, that it was time to, to put an end to that and to, and to clear people out. We saw a huge wave of people, huge, huge wave of people fleeing uh, from those barricades as, as police tried to, to disperse those. Oh, that, oh, that is not on! That is, um, a, we're seeing a policeman now hitting a, somebody who's on the floor right there, repeatedly beating that person. Um, so, yes, yeah, so police have now cleared out all the way. Some explosions, as you can hear there. We've had to, to come inside to uh, the hotel, which is nearby uh, where those uh, barricades were set up um, in order to, to get away from, from what was going on. Um, there are some wounded demonstrators, some people who've, who've been beaten, as the police have now completely cleared all of that area away. Um, this all happened very, very quickly. It all happened in a space of just a, a few minutes. We heard a few loud explosions. I believe they were, um, uh, they were noise grenades, they were flashbang grenades, um, and then a charge by the police, uh, which has completely cleared out that whole area of where demonstrators and police have been in a standoff for the last, the last few days. But all of this does seem that it's, uh, it's set to continue for a while yet. Um, we'll be trying to get back out there as soon as it's, as it's safe for us to do so, to see what's going on um, on those barricades, where they were located. Um, but yes, it's, it's, he's now seeing demonstrators trying to, to move back into that territory that they were just expelled from by the, by the riot police. 
Well, we are in a period of relative calm from what we've seen uh, for the rest of today right now. But if you look over my shoulder, uh, this is a barricade that we will be keeping an eye on. While you were hearing my report there, there was a loud cheer went up and a few things thrown from there. So we'll be keeping an eye what's going on there to see if there's more flashpoints around the city of Kiev. Sure. I'll see Peter Oliver live in Kiev. Peter, thank you very much. It's really weird to see you wear all this gear in Kiev.